what's been really my career, so I've basically worked on it for the last 30 years. The discovery of P53 in 1979 was a pivotal moment for cancer research. Since then, it has shaped our knowledge of cancer biology and could pave the way for future treatments. So I was working in, uh, in London, in the, what are now the London Research Institute labs, but were then the ICRF labs, and um, we were studying a virus that can cause cancer in cells in culture. And the virus only made one product, one protein, and we knew that that protein was important. And so we went fishing with that protein, really, and we found this other protein, which we call P53, sticking to the viral protein. And it, and it became clear that what was really happening was that the, this cancer-causing event was being caused by grabbing and, and stopping the function of this particular switch. Our paper was published in Nature, like all good papers, it got rejected the first time around. But So it, it came out in a top journal. But of course, none of us dreamed the significance it would have in, in, in the 30 years since the discovery. I was very young. I'd only just finished my PhD. And I, this is my first job as a scientist. So you know, it was, it was great at the time. But I mean, at, what's happened since then is that it's become so fascinating. And I've basically spent my whole research career studying it. And um, it continues to be as important and as fascinating as it was then. Well, P53 is a, what we call a tumor suppressor. It's a, a protein that stops cells growing like cancer cells. And it's become very important in cancer research because it turns out in most cancers, uh, it's lost its function. And this is usually caused by a, a, a mutation in the gene encoding the protein. I think the recognition of a common step at the molecular level in all cancers has been very important. And then understanding the function of P53. I called it the guardian of the genome, the, the fact that it acts to protect cells from damage to the DNA has become a very important concept. Since the discovery of P53, researchers have tried to harness this knowledge to develop new treatments for cancer, as Professor Lane explains. Well, the, the great dream of all of us in the field is to use this knowledge to come up with better treatments for cancer. So ideally, we would like a drug that only killed cells when P53 wasn't working. Then it would be incredibly selective for cancer cells, but we could use it to treat 11 million people. So that's the dream, and that's what we're all working for.